The top of the bluff just south of the Torrey Pines Golf Course is a special place for those looking to take a leap off a cliff to fly. Inland it heats up and all that cool ocean breeze goes east. And that's what creates a magic here for us soaring uh, as paragliding pilots and even the birds. Sometimes we'll sit around and wait for the birds to come out and fly to see exactly how good it is. The grassy field here is a launching pad for hang gliders and model planes, anything that can ride a stiff ocean breeze that's climbing the cliff face. And it's classic. Everybody's seen the bird just kind of circling up in the lift, and that's typically what we do when we're flying. And while the paragliders take their cues from birds climbing high above the cliffs, pelicans are using some of the same techniques to gracefully glide along the breaking waves. The pelicans caught the eye of UC San Diego doctoral student Ian Stokes when he used to surf near Santa Barbara, he noticed how the birds use the wind created by the waves. So here the wave breaks and they send it up to higher elevation and then they're able to soar back down to the next crest. And there they go. So they, now they're coming off the wave and they're tracking in. Right, so they're all banking back up, getting off the back and then they're swooping into the next wave and then you see them take off again and they start their ride once again. Pelicans take advantage of the same forces at play along the glider port cliff. There, surface wind hits the cliffs and goes up. That creates ideal conditions for paragliders. On the ocean, waves act like the cliff and they move air up as they roll toward the shore. Here comes another shoaling wave, wave breaks, and then they come up and out the back. The pelican's flight highlights a delicate interplay between the ocean and the atmosphere. That exchange of energy between the ocean and the atmosphere is a very prominent driving force in the way that our climate responds to different environmental signals. Scripps Oceanography has a long history of research around the idea of ocean waves and the atmosphere interacting. UC San Diego engineer Drew Lucas worked with Stokes to refine an algorithm that explains the physics of how that system works. An equation that relates the form of the ocean wave, its speed, its size, and its length, which we call its period or, or, or uh, wavelength, um, to the amount of wind that is created in the atmosphere. And it's, it, it's an equation. Lucas says the birds tap into this interplay. They harness the energy created when the waves rise and then crest near the shore. He says the ocean and atmosphere are coupled systems that researchers have been studying for years. We're engaged in the business of trying to predict the future of the Earth's climate and the ocean and atmosphere system. And those are problems related to how the ocean and atmosphere are communicating information, energy, um, and, and properties. Lucas says understanding even small mechanisms like the interplay between wind and water helps scientists understand more about the planet. It could also provide input into what might be happening as the oceans and the climate change. Eric Anderson, KPBS News.